is up you guys welcome back to another episode on e30 bro i'm eli the main host of this channel um today we're gonna do an e30 s54 review you got a lot of you guys have been asking for this so this is my 1982 323 euro e30 It has a uh, 2005 uh, E46 M3 SFD motor swapped into it. Uh, we are in beautiful San Pedro, California today to do this awesome video. Um, gonna give you guys, you know, a couple uh, specs about the car so you guys can know. If you guys ever want to do an SFD4 swap, make sure you guys feel free to DM me. I'll definitely be more than happy to uh, direct you guys to whoever, you know, I've been using at the time. Um, there's a lot of things I've done in this car. There's, um, from redoing the interior to painting the, the whole car, getting the bumpers re-chromed. I, uh, actually, the car is on airlift performance suspension uh, with 3P management, custom-built BBS RS wheels built by myself and my father. Um, there's uh, a lot of things done to this car. I'm gonna show you guys, we're gonna do a little walk around and go step-by-step uh, step, a little different things, and then we're gonna do some inside of the car footage, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys will be excited for. So um, let's get to, into it. This is a 2005 E46 M3 mortar. I originally bought the mortar uh, with, with, uh, from this guy that said the rod bearings were done on it, but in reality they were never done. So I ended up getting some money back, got the car, got the mortar redone again, and here it is. I recently got the engine, uh, the head redone. There's a guy that swapped it uh, previously, uh, had some misfunctions on it, so I uh, had, had to get that redone. Um, but yeah, we did as clean as possible. You know, the Euro engine bay doesn't have power steering, has a um, original, uh, no power steering uh, rack, so that makes it a lot easier. You don't have to go through the whole power steering issue. This car does not have AC. I know a lot of you guys like to have AC in your cars, but to be honest, I don't think an E30 is really a like, day to drive every day. This car, you take it out maybe one or two hours during the day, like today on a beautiful Sunday, and uh, you drive it around for a bit, and it goes back in the garage, it goes under the cover. Uh, the SMD4 is, the, the power is, it's, it's so perfect. It, you can either, it's either on the low end or the high end. This car definitely feels, you can definitely feel the power on the high end always. Um, but, yeah, the, as far as the SMD4 motor, I mean, all that's been done is rod bearings. It's got the head redone. Um, um, the person that redid the head for me was a JMP Auto Works. They're out in Kanoga Park. If you guys ever need uh, maintenance done on your cars or stuff, make sure you hit him up. Tell him E30 Bro sent you. I'll make sure Mohammed or Jerry take care of you guys, give you guys a great price, even for swaps, whatever the needs might be. Um, but yeah, that's it for the, the mortar. I mean, it's very straightforward. Uh, it's got a two and a half uh, inch exhaust all the way back with a Dynamax muffler. Uh, I have electric uh, cutout on it as well, so I can go from loud to uh, quiet and just a click of a button, which is, I think, one of my favorite things about this car. The power ratio is perfect on this car, so, but that's it for that. I'll show you guys a little bit about the outside. Show you a little about the mortar. Let's go to the outside. So, on the 82 E30s, uh, uh, this is a Euro model, so it has the Euro bumpers on it. E92 M3 pulls there. <laughs> got to pair it up next to this car and see what the power is, right? Um, so yeah, it's got the Euro bumpers on it. I did all the chrome moldings. This car originally came with the chrome moldings, but I kept the, uh, usually people black these out. I kept all the chrome moldings on it as well. So it looks nice, original. Um, all this has been redone. All the seals have, are new. Um, the whole car was repainted by a, a body shop called PG Auto Body out in uh, Industry City. Did a really good job on the car. I personally, what I do before I send out any car to get painted, I take everything apart: windows, trim, uh, hood. Sometimes I even take off the fenders, but I I take everything off, and then um, I send out the car to paint as a complete shell. I like I'm a very detailed person, so when it comes to details, making sure that everything on the sides, everything is done perfectly. I'm very very detailed about all that stuff. So uh, yeah, that's the outside. 
you guys seen this car in person, if you guys can see on video, I take very good care of this car. You know, I maintain it as well as I can. It usually sits in the garage as well, so that's really a big advantage. Uh, what else should we talk about? I mean, let's talk about the wheels. So these are uh, BPS RS. Uh, this is a rare, a rare phase. It's an ET40 face. I've actually had about maybe 15 to 20 pairs of BBS RS, maybe even more um, than the time I've been in the car scene. Uh, my dad and I always build our BBS RS ourselves in our garage. I, I've never bought BBS RS done. Um, so these my, I built myself with my dad in the garage. Uh, this is a powder coated, uh, not powder coated, a sandblasted face. And then my dad and I actually clear coated it ourselves with uh, um, actual car clear coat. So it stays nice and protected. Uh, these are three and a half inch lips in the back, um, and I have three inch lips in the front. Um, so it's a, it's a 16 by 10 in the back, and then a 16 by 9 in the front. So it's a perfect fitment. I got them wrapped up in uh, R88Rs. Obviously, we need to hold down the power on this car since it's, since um, it does have a good amount of power than what it came with. Um, and that's for that. I, 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 for brakes, I have uh, Willwood four piston brakes in the back. Um, front is all original right now for, for now. Um, I'm still figuring out if I can run a six piston or a four piston wheel wood in the front. But it's a little hard with the BBS wheel since you don't have as much space. Even with the front, sometimes I have to run a spacer. This one I was lucky, I don't have to run a spacer. But um, that's that. Um, so yeah, I told you guys the car is on airlift performance bags. Um, a lot of people, min, uh, you know, min, like misunderstood bags. Um, you can really drive the crap out of li living crap out of a car um, on air suspension. Um, I'll go, if you guys come to the back, I'll show you guys a little bit of trunk setup. Don't be um, discouraged. It's a little dirty at the moment, but um, hold on. So let me show a little bit about the air suspension on this car. A lot of people, depending on what, what kind of uh, look you're going for or what you're using the car for, a lot of people bag their cars and daily drive them, so they definitely still want their trunk, trunk space. As far as for me, I don't really care for trunk space since I don't take this car to the grocery store. I mean, I kind of do some pumps, but um, I don't really put stuff in the back of the car. So what I did, personally, I did a, I did a full um, trunk setup on it, so a full wood grain wood on it. I did two 44C compressors with a 3P management with a five gallon tank. Um, I even got these, uh, these little lights in here. They're not working right now, but I usually have these lights right here that you guys can see because of the reflection. Um, so it lights up when, when I go to car shows, I usually don't light it up so it looks nice and beautiful. Um, I redid all the inside myself as well. As you can see, like I said, I really go detailed when it comes into body work. I make sure they paint everything inside. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, that's it for that. S54 swap in this car. Uh, one of my favorite things is the interior. This interior, I really, you know, I went all out on it. You guys gotta take a look at this one. Man, so, you guys are never gonna guess. This interior, this is all leather from a Ferrari 458. So if you know your Ferraris, you know the, the different kind of shades of, of the tan and everything. All this leather has is from a Ferrari 458. These are original for Ricardo seats. Got the nice Ricardo chrome signs on there. I got the M Tech steering wheel on there as well. All M stitching, all redone. The dash has been redone in leather. Um, M shifter, I even did the middle council. Everything is leather. So it's all about the detail at the end of the day in this car. I really, really, really went all out when it came to this car. Um, you know, I. I I think at the end of the day, you're inside the car. I think that's one of the more, most important things. You're driving it, you want the inside to be nice. I mean, what's so awesome about the outside being pretty, but then the inside is completely trash, because at the end of the day, you're not looking at the outside, you're driving the inside, you know? So, but uh, yeah, I love the interior in this car. This, this is one of one interior. I've never seen any of anybody else ever use Ferrari leather or do this setup in this car. Uh, so, as you guys, you guys, if you guys know me on Instagram, you know that I love crazy interiors. One of my past E30s, I had a Rolls Royce leather interior into it. So, uh, I've always been into like, you know, doing crazy interiors. Yeah, that happens. So guys, I showed you guys the outside of the car. I showed you the, the air lift performance bags. I showed you the trunk setup, the engine, a little bit of the interior. Um, 
now we're gonna show you what you guys really want to see. You guys want to see the car you drive, you want to see how this car performs. This car is a little beast. It's definitely not your average electronic, everything does it for you car, but it's an amazing car to drive. It's fast as hell for what it is. Um, I'm not gonna tell you guys how much power makes it until the end of the video. So if you wanna, you know, fast forward the video, you're gonna have to, if you wanna just wanna know how much horsepower it makes, you gotta wait and watch the whole video. Uh, right now we're just driving through the city. Uh, right now it's at low power mode, so cutout is closed. So once the cutout is open, it makes more power. It makes about 20 more horsepower. It's, it, does, it doesn't make a difference. So you're gonna see how this car drives. Small city, you know, this, it's, it's still a comfortable car. The seats are the one really makes it comfortable, to be honest. The Ricardos are very comfortable. Um, but, uh, this car has a, a ZF Tranny, five speed. Um, uh, my dad and I did not do the six speed transmission because we thought it was not really necessary. Once you run a good diff, you can you can run the, the ZF Tranny, which is a cool thing. I have a 305 diff in this car. It's a pretty rare diff. I, I feel, if anybody else knows that has somebody that has one, uh, that's pretty awesome. I haven't seen that many E30s. I tried many diffs on this car. I've tried a 346, a 325, and even a 373. All of those were a little too high. Even the 346 and the 325 on the freeway was still really high. This 305 is just so perfect. It keeps your, it keeps uh, the gears very on the low end. So, uh, so when you drive, you get like a nice fat pull on the freeway. So you guys will, you guys will see right now. But guys, we're on the freeway now. Uh, close up the windows, obviously, so I want you guys to be able to hear while we're driving. Uh, so we are in fourth gear right now. I'm gonna slow down more on the freeway. I'm gonna slow down a little more, pop it in second, third, that's third. Okay, uh, pop it in second. And then go. This 
realize a lot of people say, oh, I drive my E30 at 150 miles an hour on the freeway. Listen, that's great and all, but these cars, they were, they're meant to be driven, but the car with like, so much money and time into it, you don't want to push it that hard. You know, it's, I understand you're like, oh, drive, drive your car to your limits. No, you know, drive your car to, like, you know, whatever you feel is comfortable with. Uh, I'm gonna go open up the cutout now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna crack the window up a little bit so you guys can hear. Obviously, it's gonna be a little airy, but. So, this button right here, I call it the injecto seto button. So, it's open. You guys can hear the tone is a little louder. Got a little pops, yo. This one, this DCU is 2x22 RPD. Show them the odometer. I saw a second gear on the freeway. One, two, three, here we go. So that is it for the review of the E30 SF4. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you guys. I really love enjoy loving this driving this car, driving it from all the way from San Pedro to back to home, um, Calabasas, California. I'm not gonna say exactly where because obviously you don't need anybody to come to my house. But um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any more questions about the car, if you have any questions about making an E30 SF4 swap, feel free to comment down below. Um, I will respond to you guys. No, not a problem. Or hit me up on Instagram it's at e 30 bro which you guys should already know. It's gonna be down. Links down below. Anyways, if you guys don't follow me, so give me a follow. Stay updated. I will be throwing a crew soon, so we can get a bunch of E30s out, a bunch of supercars. All my friends can come out. We we'll just have a good time, you know. I mean, I know it's kind of hard not going to I mean, having the car shows right now with the whole quarantine thing, and COVID-19 going on. But let's try to make the best of it. Uh, anyways, if you have, can't have cars, let's have some drives at least, right? Everybody keep their distance. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys can like it, subscribe the most. I want you guys to keep watching these videos. I love you guys. Thank you for your time, for watching this video, which means the most. I know time is so important in this life. So thank you guys. I love y'all, and I'll see you guys in the next video.